Welcome to a new video from Fantasy Football Scout with me, TED Talks FPL. I'll be looking at all the key stats from the eight games played this weekend and seeing if anyone caught the eye ahead of Game Week 32. Stay tuned for everything you need to know about Game Week 31. Leeds United faced a seemingly irrepressible Man City side on their way to another league title, but it was 10 men Leeds who came away with the 2-1 victory, even though they conceded the most amount of shots out of any team, making them this week's top defensive over performers. City, on the other hand, managed to concede two goals from just two small chances conceded, the only attempts Leeds had all game. Newcastle conceded the second highest number of shots to Burnley, and can count themselves a bit fortunate not to have conceded more than one goal. Wolves had worse defensive stats than Fulham this week, but still managed to clinch the victory in that game. It's therefore unsurprising that Wolves also make it into the top three over performers for game week 31. West Ham managed an important win against top four rivals Leicester, which took them one point behind the Foxes in the league table. The Hammers counter-attacked efficiently, putting three past Schmeichel from a total of just four shots. Chelsea thumped Palace with a game-week high of six big chances, while Palace wiped out Chelsea's clean sheet with their only shot of the game. All other games went as the defensive stats expected. Leicester came from three goals down to test West Ham's resolve in the final minutes. In the end, it was the Hammers who took all three points, despite the Foxes dominating possession with close to an 80% share in the final third and 44 penalty box touches compared with eight from West Ham. A premium membership at fantasyfootballscout.co.uk unlocks everything you need to succeed at a fantasy Premier League, from Opta stats and expert articles to tailor-made tables and comparison tools. There's no better time to sign up with a seven-day free trial and 20% off. On to defenders, where players furthest to the right had the best chance of goals and assists, and players towards the top had the best chance of keeping a clean sheet. Stuart Dallas, who plays out of position in midfield, single-handedly put City to the sword with two goals and 17 FPL points, even though City had an XG conceded of just 0.13. Alexander-Arnold also proved to be Liverpool's saviour with a last-minute goal in their victory over Aston Villa. Kurt Zuma filled his boots with a goal in Chelsea's convincing win over Palace, while Semedo, Aitnori and Holding all came away with clean sheet points and bonus. Stats-wise, it was the City boys who impressed the most defensively and offensively, especially Zinchenko, who amongst defenders was top for crosses with 12 and top for chances created created with five. West Ham's Issa Diop continued to display some attacking threat from set pieces and even had a goal disallowed. Burnley's Me and Tarkovsky also displayed some goal potential against Newcastle, it's just a shame they weren't great defensively. Chelsea's defensive rotation poses a concern for owners even with their good run of fixtures. Instead, maybe we should focus our attention on the Liverpool fullbacks with their sensational run of fixtures. Even though their distribution stats are normally pretty comparable, from their heat maps against Aston Villa it certainly looks like Alexander-Arnold played a bit further up the pitch with a more active attacking role. Onto the midfielders and forwards and it was Alan Sam Maximan who was the biggest overperformer this week. Newcastle's impact substitute managed a goal and an assist in just 33 minutes. Mason Greenwood managed a similar feat in 18 minutes while Lingard's third consecutive double figure haul almost implies that we should be expecting this level of overperformance in the future. West Ham have great fixtures until the end of the season starting with a trip to Newcastle so definitely consider bringing him in if you don't already own. Lacazette has started the last four games for Arsenal and has five attacking returns in that period. Arsenal are another team that have good fixtures, continuing with Fulham in game week 32, and Lacazette is only owned by 7.3% of managers. 5.9 million Ian Acho scored a brace against West Ham and now has seven goals in his last five matches, with West Brom, Palace, Southampton and Newcastle up next. Sun scored against Man United ahead of Spurs double game week in 32. Mohamed Salah and Mason Mount gave us the highest number of attempts, but it was the latter's Chelsea teammates who really impressed. Kai Havertz and Christian Pulisic both came away with double digit returns and were the only players to conjure three big attempts this game week. I would probably opt for Havertz who's been playing out of position as a number nine. Only Mo Salah had more penalty box touches amongst midfielders in game week 31. Thanks for watching, if you've enjoyed the video please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new around here and please make sure to check out fantasyfootballscout.co.uk for all of your other FPL needs.